In today's episode, Stick Dude creates an Anzac artwork. Hi, it's me, the animator. With Anzac Day just around the corner, I thought what better time to recognise this event than make a little bit of artwork. With help from Stick Dude, of course. Come on, Stick Dude, come and join us. Yeah, good on you. Got anything to tell us today? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, so you're unhappy again. I know I always do this. It's me that's doing the work, but actually you're the one who always wants to do it. So let's change that. We'll start with changing the title. Get rid of that one and bring in... I think you'll be more happy with that. And um, what about the helping section? Should we get rid of that too? All right, and... Yeah, that's better. All right, now we can get on with actually making the artwork. Thanks, Stick Dude. All right, Stick Dude, let's get straight into it. Hey, um, we always forget to do this, eh? No one can understand you apart from me, so let's give you the power of speech bubbles, eh? What do you want to tell us again? Yeah, sure. So um, the type of art we'll be doing today is um, portrait making. Um, and portraits are all about a picture of a person their face, sometimes their shoulders, and um, some of their body as well. Um, sometimes you can do a self-portrait, um, like these ones here, or sometimes people can make a portrait of you, like some of these other ones that you can see here. Amazing details, eh? Oh, look at that one. That's got, um, they've used spots and dots and all sorts of colours. I like the one with the reflection in it. And the other one, the Nina one, has got fantastic use of other um, medium as well. They've glued some things on, a bit of a speech bubble it looks like. Really, really clever. What do you reckon, Stick Dude? Yeah, well, just before we get into that, I just thought you might want to find out a little bit more about poppies with Anzac Day coming up. I just thought I'd show you and tell you a little bit more about the poppy that we wear in New Zealand and in Australia too. So here's a little poem, it's called Red Poppy. Red Poppy, what do you say? Please wear me on Anzac Day. Red Poppy, what do you tell? Many soldiers in battle fell. Red Poppy, what should we know? That peace on earth should grow, grow, grow. So during World War I, um, after the uh, sort of the battles were over and the people had left in f a place called Flanders in Belgium, one of the first flowers that grew there were the poppies on the battlefields. So once the battlefields had all been cleared, the first thing that grew through, through were these beautiful red poppies, and that's why they've become the symbol of peace and Anzac Day, um, and that's why we buy them, and that's why we wear them. So um, before you have a go, I just thought I'd show you a quick video on how um, as a, a method, a really excellent method, for um, going about your portrait making. Watch this carefully, stick to.
Alrighty then, stick to. Time to get into um, your artwork for today. Now remember you are drawing a portrait here and then at the end maybe you could pop a little poppy on your um, on your chest there as well to show that you are showing recognition of Anzac Day. Alright, let's start with the portrait. So over you go, go and choose your colour. What colour are you going to go for? Blue. Okay. And who are you going to do a portrait of? Yourself or me? Great. Okay, now do you remember what to start with? Oh, the oval shape. Nicely done. And what do you do next? I can see you're trying to make it in half there. And then yeah, in half the other way. Don't quite know if you got half there, stick dude. Do you remember where the nose goes? That's right, it was about halfway between, wasn't it? And then the mouth was kind of halfway between those other places, yep, where you're pointing to. Okay, and what do you what are you gonna do next? Uh, the shoulders. Trying to get them as wide as the head. Yep. Okay, now pop your eyes in. And they're looking good. Oh, that one's a bit wobbly. Okay. And the other eye too. Thank you. Make sure you give me something to see with. Now the nose, add a bit more detail there. That's looking good, stick dude. Okay, and the mouth. I think it was mountain and, oh yeah, you remembered, mountain and then boat. Yep. Alright, pop in some ears for me. Thank you, stick dude. Great looking ears. And then, hmm, maybe add in some hair for me as well. Give me a funky hair, got it. I don't want to see my receding hairline anymore. Ooh. Nice. And a fringe. Oh, stick dude, great job. That's looking really nice. Okay, now finish by putting a poppy there on my chest. We're proud to wear a poppy on Anzac Day. A yeah, great looking poppy there. Alright, stick dude. You finished your portrait. Hey, well done for having a go there, stick dude. Got anything else you want to say to us? Definitely. Oh yeah, I couldn't agree more. Okay, what did you have in mind? Great idea. Hey, so your challenge here, people who are watching us, is make a proud to wear a poppy portrait. Follow the steps in the video we just watched to create your portrait, then add on a poppy. Put the words proud to wear a poppy on there too. Get your teacher to share your artworks on the Facebook group. Hey, good luck. This is me, the animator, and him, Stick Dude, saying goodbye for now. Good luck with your artworks and look forward to seeing them when you're finished. Goodbye.